we are going to learn the concept of credit research in this course we will learn its process the credit research the credit modeling and the credit research ratings and its methodology and the various fundamentals of credit research the very first thing we will start with the introduction like we will understand what is credit research a credit research is the method by which one calculates the credit worthiness of a business or an organization in other words it is the evaluation of the ability of a company to honor its financial obligation the objective of credit analysis that is the credit research is to look at both the borrower and the lending facility being proposed and to assign a risk rating the risk rating is derived by estimating the probability of default by the borrower at a given confidence level over the life of the facility and by estimating the amount of loss that the lender would suffer in the event of default credit analysis involves a wide variety of financial analysis techniques which includes ratio analysis and trend analysis as well as the creation of projections and the detailed analysis of cash flows Credit analysis also includes an examination of collateral and other sources of repayment as well as credit history and management ability. Analysts attempt to predict the probability that the borrower will default on its debt and also the severity of losses in the event of default. Before approving a commercial loan, any bank will look at all of these factors with the primary emphasis is being given to the cash flow of the borrower. A typical measurement of repayment ability is the debt service coverage ratio. A credit analyst at a bank will measure the cash generated by a business that is before interest expense and excluding depreciation and any other non-cash or extraordinary expenses. The next is the classic credit analysis. Earlier banks used to make use of this traditional method which is also used for evaluating the credit risk of the company traditionally most banks have relied on subjective judgment to assess the credit risk of a corporate borrower essentially borrowers used information on various borrower characteristics such as character which is known as for reputation capital which is known for leverage capacity that is the volatility of earnings and collateral in deciding whether or not to make a given loan developing this type of expert system is time consuming and expensive this is why from time to time banks have tried to clone their decision making process even so in the granting of credit to corporate customers many banks continue to rely primarily on the traditional expert system for evaluating potential borrowers the next is the credit scoring system which is a new concept has came into being in recent decades a number of objective quantitative systems for scoring credits have been developed in univariate that is the one variable accounting based credit scoring systems the credit analysis compares various key accounting ratios of potential borrowers with industry or group norms and trends in these variables today standards and poors moody and risk management association can all provide banks with industry ratios the univariate approach enables an analyst starting an inquiry to determine whether a particular ratio for a potential borrower differs markedly from the norm for its industry in reality however the unsatisfactory level of one ratio is frequently mitigated by the strength of some other measure a firm for example may have a poor profitability ratio but an above average liquidity ratio in case of ratio analysis so one limitation of the univariate approach is the difficulty of making trade offs between such weak and the strong ratios of course a good credit analyst can make these adjustments however some univariate measures such as the specific industry group public versus private company and region are categorical rather than the ratio level values it is more difficult to make judgments about variables of these types so univariate models are still used in today's in today's time in many banks most academics and an increasing number of practitioners seem to disapprove of ratio analysis as a means of assessing the performance of a business enterprises many respected theorists 
downgrade the arbitrary rules of thumb that is such as company ratio comparisons that are widely used by practitioners and favor instead the application of more rigorous and statistical techniques so this is his work known as the credit research